Okay, so for problem number three, and then I have um, lowercase a is four meters. So lowercase a is opposite capital A. I'm gonna no longer put the units in, all right, even though the units should be the same no matter what. So the rule is, and I'm not even gonna write down the formula, pick a side, divide by the sine of the opposite angle. So I'm gonna write down sine of A, because that's the opposite angle. And then pick another side, and then I'm gonna divide by the sine of the opposite angle. And remember, those are not special angles, so who cares? But anytime the unknown is in the denominator, I flip the proportion, so it is the sine of capital A over four, is equal to the sine of 110 divided by 11. And I will multiply by four on both sides, which means I'm gonna write down the sine of A is equal to four sine of 110 divided by 11. And in order for me to solve, I'm not gonna write it on both sides. You do the arc sine on the left to cancel out the sine, and you have to do the arc sine on the right. So angle A is the arc sine of four sine of 110, all divided by 11. All right, so that's number three. All right, we're gonna go to number five. I'm gonna try to upload, see if I can get them back on in a moment. All right, number five, triangle ABC. They don't draw it for me, so any way would be fine. Capital A is 64 degrees, capital B is 98 degrees, and lowercase a is 29 miles. Find lowercase b, so I'll just put a b there. And you just use the formula, and it doesn't matter where you start. I always say pick a side, so I think I'm gonna pick the 29, and then divide by the sign of the opposite angle, and then it is, pick a side, so this time I'll use B, and I'll divide by the sine of the opposite angle. And remember, you're only solving for B, so all you have to do is multiply both sides by the sine of 98. If you multiply the left side by the sine of 98, it is 29 sine of 98 divided by the sine of 64, and you cannot cancel anything. That's all you're gonna get. And the right side, you're just gonna get B. Any questions? We're good? Because we're not using a calculator. I mean, a calculator, you would then type just that in to get the answer. All right, so I am up to number seven. I'll send this to them in a moment. But let me just get through seven. Okay, I see an angle C, a side B, whatever, it's ABC again. And it doesn't matter how you draw your triangle. It doesn't matter how you label your triangle. I'm very consistent and I just label everything the same way. It says measure of angle C is 128 degrees. So I will put that in over here. It then says lowercase b is 35. That is always opposite capital B. It says lowercase c is 35. That's opposite capital C. But it says find the measure of angle A. I didn't mean that, it says find side A. That's what I meant to say. And you might say, well, if I try to do this, I'll have an issue because I don't know what capital A is and I don't know what lowercase a is, but you should recognize it's an isosceles triangle, which means I had to have written something wrong. Um, why is that wrong? Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Why is that wrong? I, I labeled it correctly, right? Side B, yes. Um, well, so if the, the sides are equal, the angles have to be equal, and 128 times 2 is more than 180. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. That's a typo. Is everyone okay with that? So we're going to make a small tweak, and we're just going to say 28. Okay, Th there has to be some sort of little typo there. It's an isosceles triangle. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal to each other. So now I'm going to put in the other equal angle. It's got to work. 28 plus 28, when you add them together, it's 56. So 28 and 28 gives me 56. And then when you do 180 minus 56, what do you get? 
124. Perfect, 124. That's the vertex angle. So I will put that in up here. Now you can actually answer the question to find lowercase a. So pick a side. I'm going to go with lowercase a because that's the one I'm looking for. Pick a side, divide by the sine of the opposite angle, and then pick a different side. And you can pick whichever one you want. So I'm just going to say 35. It doesn't matter which side I'm looking at. And divide by the sine of the opposite angle. And then to solve for a, all I have to do is multiply both sides by the sine of 124. So the way you present your answer on paper is 35 times the sine of 124. You only multiply it by the numerator, all divided by the sine of 28. And remember, nothing reduces. That's what you just type into the calculator to get the value of a. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, so please work on number nine. I'm going to try to send this to them.